Hello there guys, Mark here. I hope you are well. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to tie a multi-strand crown and diamond knot. This knot has its applications in finishing various projects. It acts as an excellent stopper knot with a unique look. Here I have a couple of different keychains finished up using the crown and diamond. So here I have the regular crown sinnet finished up at the bottom using our knot. And here is the alternate crown sinnet with a more square shape, again finished up using the crown and diamond knot. The crown and diamond is when tied with four strands a four sided knot, so it is a square knot. When done with three strands, it is more of a triangular shape. So each strand adds an additional side. The knot can be tied with a variety of different strand numbers, so three, four, five, it doesn't matter. With that said, let me show you how to tie it. Let's now use the knot to finish up a series of crown knots. As the name of the knot suggests, so the crown and diamond knot, we're going to start with a crown knot. We're going to tie it in the counterclockwise direction. Take a strand, pass it counterclockwise over the next strand. Take the next strand, pass it counterclockwise over the third strand. Take the third strand, pass it counterclockwise over the last strand. Take the last of your strands, pass it into the loop made by your first strand. Tighten up a bit. And this creates a crown knot. We're going to now pick up one of the strands. Pass over this part coming out of the project. So the next strand coming out of the project. And over your next end. So essentially over two. Like this. And then under here. So under the next strand coming out of the project and under the next end. Like this. Immediately up through the center of the knot. Pick up your next working end. Pass over the next strand coming out of the project and over the next end. So simply over two like this and then under two under the next strand coming out of the project and the next working hand. So under two and up through the center of the knot. Take the next working hand, which is again passing over this strand coming out of the project. So over it, over the next working hand, and again under two, so under a strand coming out of the project and your next working hand. So under two directly through the center of the crown knot. The last one, 
is again passing over the next strand coming out of the project. So over. And then we come to the next strand here coming out of the project. Here we have three strands to work with. We're going to pass over the first one at the bottom and then travel under to through the center of the crown knot. Like this. Tighten up by pulling on each of the ends And your crown and diamond knot is complete. As a small piece of bonus content, I'm going to also show you a second take on tying this knot. It is verbalized slightly differently, so if you're having any issues tying this knot, take a look at this second take as well. We're going to start with a crown knot. We're going to tie it in the counterclockwise direction. Take a strand, place it counterclockwise over the next strand. Pick up the next strand, place it counterclockwise over the next strand. Take the next strand, place it counterclockwise over the last strand. Take the last strand, pass it into the loop created by the first strand. Now gently tighten up. Like this. To continue, take a strand, pass over the next strand, and under the next one. So over under and immediately up through the center of the knot. Like this. Take the next strand and repeat. Over your next working end or next strand and immediately up at the next one. So over under. Like this. Take your third strand, pass over your next strand, over this one, and up here to the center of the knot. So add the next strand coming out of your project. Like this. Take the last of the strands, which is passing over this strand coming out of the project. And we only need to do an under. Here. We need to go over this bottom strand and immediately up through the center of the knot. Like this. Now pull on your working hands and slide your knot at the end of your series of crown knots. Like this. Then tighten up by pulling on each of the ends. Like this. And this is the crown and diamond knot. And with that we have covered the crown and diamond knot. Use it in a couple of projects and see how it fits into your tying style. For me, 
It is a nice alternative to the foot rope knot. Thank you very much for joining me today and I hope to see you in my future videos as well.